Hello. <laughs> Where are we at and what are we doing today? We are finally back at Epcot Center and we are here for our first go at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2022. Shoop, 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 shoop. Hashtag food and wine 2022 everyone. But we're here and this is our first Again, you'll see a couch video on this, but this, or you already have by this point. Mm -hmm. um, but this is our first post branding getting COVID video. But it's been a few weeks. We're back and we're here right on time, actually, in terms of the yeah. festival. Just when did it start? A week or two ago? Like a, yeah, a couple weeks ago. Okay, cool. So we are here. And what do we intend to get? Things that we can eat. Thank you. <laughs> we have, do we have the, uh, we have our passports. so we have our passports. Mm -hmm. There's about, uh, if you check out our website, we have about, we have a, I made a whole list of all the things that are marked currently as gluten-free, and there's about, I think, 20 things. It appears, we didn't really cover this last year, but I was a little upset, and it looks, again, there are no stickers in there, correct? Or are there? No, I don't We're think We're looking right no now, live and in color. No stickers. No stickers. So how do we know if we've been to a book? They do no stamps. Does everyone, well, it used to be the stamps, then it became stickers. Oh, boy. So... We can't keep track of where we're going, everyone. But uh, no, uh, hopefully it's going to be some delicious food here. Um, really excited and our first go at it. Yeah, and of course, as always, we've talked about this in other festival videos. Um, we'll talk a little bit more maybe at the end about kind of special diets protocols. There may be some changes this year, which we'll talk about. But of course, these are shared facilities and small little kitchens. So of course, use your own comfort and yep, judgment always, always. when going to any of these booths. So we'll kind of talk through some of the options as we go through. Okay. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we're going to go see what we see. Again, we don't intend to get everything here today that we can get. No, but and we some had... of the booths are closed too. Yeah, so they don't open for one in a couple weeks. Yeah, the noodle so. exchange. Oh, I wanted to Yeah, we... Oh, gosh. We're still good. But, um... But ready to jump on into the World Showcase and see what we see. Let's go. Feels good to be back. Let's go, everyone. Booth number one. Where are we at, Brandon? <laughs> we, are, we have made our way to Earth Eats, which is um, one of my favorite booths because of what I'm about to eat for you guys. For you. I'm eating this for you. Yeah, so this is the plant-based booth sponsored by Impossible. You know we all, we love the Impossible brand. Very products. much so. And so Brandon got the Impossible Burger. Mm -hmm. Which I've gotten for the last few years and it is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you want me to eat it now or you want to go for it? No, you go. Right. I'm just getting myself ready. Come on. Everyone, sorry for the mess. All right. Listen, everybody. Point blank. There it is. Hashtag listen. Hashtag there it is. This is one of the best items at Food Wine. It has been for years. This Impossible Burger is better than most real burgers. It is, uh, of course, not gluten free because of the bun, but it is vegan. It is vegan awesome. and dairy free. Um, you did get yours without the coleslaw because yep. Brandon is allergic to cabbage. Cabbage, so I can't have the slaw, but um, this is, I I'm going to get another one. Maybe not today, maybe today. I don't know. But um, what did uh, what did Sarah do? So there's nothing marked on the menu on gluten-free here at the food, um, but we had heard a rumor that the Impossible Meatball that they have on the menu is actually gluten-free, at least at this time. Um, sometimes ingredients change throughout a festival, so we double-checked the radio show. And they said it is actually gluten free um, and of course dairy free and vegan. So I wasn't in line when Sarah ordered, but they did. Uh, I did when I walked up, they were radioing the chef, is what they did, and they checked the binder, I'm guessing. Yeah, yep. And I forgot to double check because there, there's a pasta in it, so I forgot to check the nuts. We'll do that next time, otherwise, Brandon would be trying this too. It's okay, I got this. He's got burger, so I'm gonna give this a try. Very spicy, I'm feeling it. This looks, yeah, I think this is gonna be spicy too. It's got polenta, it's got a pinesco sauce, it's got pesto. Mm. Good. Very spaghetti and meatballs kind of a tongue. There it is. Hashtag. There it is. Definitely a kick. Ooh, okay. Big kick. 
um, good, very flavorful, although the spice is the big thing that's sitting in my mouth right yeah, now. Me too. Again, we love the impossible. I love swear, it. it. Love it. it yeah, impossible really is better than real meat sometimes. Mm -hmm. Super flavorful. Um, a little spicy. Maybe it is spicy. It's not spicy. Yeah. But good. I'm glad that they're. I wish they would have marked this gluten free, but maybe they were mm. kind of playing around with the recipe. Okay, so, so uh, as of right now, it's gluten free. Cool. Double check when you come to the booth because oh, yeah. it's not marked on the menu. Yeah, and they'll either talk to the chef right there or radio the chef. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we did confirm, or Sarah confirmed, I was walking up yes. as she was ordering. Yes. But um, she did confirm it's not marked gluten free, but this is. Yeah, and they can also do the impossible slider gluten free without the bun. So you can just get it kind of with the burger and the slaw. Slaw, gotcha. So you could do that as a gluten free deal okay. with the option, with the bunless option. So, and of course, if you have a coconut allergy, Impossible Burger has coconut in it, oh. which is considered a tree nut, even though it's a fruit. Okay. But just as a warning in case you have wow. sensitivity to coconut. Cool. So ready to uh, dig in and see uh, what our next booth is? Mm -hmm. So Earth Eats, highly recommend the uh, Impossible Burger and, yeah, the, the, meatballs uh, and the meatballs. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So thumbs up. everybody a wild Sarah appears she is doing our due diligence she is she's much better than I am at talking to a uh, cast member about allergy but you can see the cast member is on the phone right now asking about the Australia booth um, Sarah will explain this much better but uh, as we said be your own advocate and ask 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 if you're ever not comfortable which is what we're doing right now all right update so they actually brought the chef over um, Sarah will explain this more but uh, this is awesome the chefs here the uh, culinary team is always amazing so uh, I was taking videos so I don't know exactly what they're talking about but uh, Sarah will explain it but uh, yeah so uh, Sarah in action everyone hashtag Sarah action make it happen okay well <laughs> we went on a journey to Australia and we, we did <laughs> did you know we come from the land down under we do come from the land down under well, men at work, everyone. Men the work. shrimp and the Barbie here. Yeah, is, let's. Uh... Yeah, so I got the sweet and spicy uh, shrimp. This is a classic food wine staple. It is gluten free. It is dairy free. I think I get this pretty much every year that it's here. Um, they do also have a lamb here that's gluten free. Um, Brandon was going to get that. I just I'm not a huge lamb fan. Brandon was going to get it, but it is mixed and marinated with nuts so we uh, skipped that one yeah but we also got a wine flight oh, yeah, brandon's gonna that. take some of that these are some nice australian wines uh, there's a bna a chardonnay and a cabernet sauvignon so we'll try some of those these are different than i think last year's are uh, they? wine okay. flight so that should be good we'll probably do a quick split brandon might try one and i'll try the other one so we'll sounds good because we've already contaminated yeah we don't want to get to yep. the second so shrimp one of your favorites it's good, it's sweet, it's spicy. Not as spicy as that meatball from <laughs> That was, oh gosh, that, that burger so long ago, all 10 minutes ago. I know, he's gonna go back and get another one. I'm but, probably going to. But good, I like this one again, gluten free, dairy free, it's light. There's a lot of dishes here that are either hot or kind of heavy. So this is always one that I like for kind of like a nice, light, sweet, spicy, standard. And it looks like uh, there's a lot in there actually. What, three shrimp, four shrimp? Not too bad, yeah. Jealous, but yeah, it looks good. We'll try the, uh, next we'll try the wine, but we'll let Sarah finish this up and uh, get some food. All right, so I am gonna try just one of the wines. Sarah gets the other two, so we don't cross contaminate. But uh, which one did I get, Sarah? You have what I think is the B&A. and a B and a I never I'm say that right. our little uh, list that Australia, everyone. Did Australia. What's the best thing that came from Australia? The Mad, Mad Max. Ma I was just going to say, I'm like, are you going to say or Mad possibly Max? Possibly one of the best post apocalyptic films ever, The Rover, starring uh, Guy Pierce. The Rover with Guy Pierce. I mean, if you haven't seen it, it's a must watch. One of the best films of 2014. 2014? Look it up. Same year the Lego movie came out. Anyway, so this is, what is this again you said, maybe? I think that's a Viognier. Okay. And I'm sure I'm butchering that, so sorry, everyone. Sorry, all the wine people. Refreshing, good, fine. It's okay. Whatever. It's like soap. Um, oh, okay. Well, no, I, I do. <laughs> it sounded terrible. It's good. Um, it's one of those ones where two sips is not enough because we all know food and wine will give you good kind of things. Um, I wish it was more. It's good. It's refreshing. Um, do you want to take the Chardonnay and pour some of it into your empty cup so you can have a sip of that? Oh, good call. Yeah. Good call. See, this is the Chardonnay. Live coming at you with 
Special die attacks. All right, everyone. No cross contamination. Much better. That's much better. Do you want to try the red too? Robert Oatley Chardonnay. That is delicious. Do you want to try the Cabernet Sauvignon? Yeah. Okay. See? We, we problem solved it on the fly. All right, everyone. So this is called the uh, Yolamba V Voyager, right? Sure. I don't know. You have the card. <laughs> I'm not clairvoyant. Voyager, I don't know. From <laughs> South, South East Germany. Oh, oh, that's my favorite. Oh, that's that, that's your favorite. It's thick. It's rich. I want more of it. It is delicious. Um, by far, the the one that looks like cranberries is the best. So Brandon's face looks oh, deceiving. But yeah, it's deceiving. It's a weird, not weird. Probably sour. strong. You love strong sour. taste. I love it. I'm I'm gonna say it's sour, but it is. So, there's a boat coming in, right? but it is extremely good. That is, yeah, I believe it's a Yolamba. Cabernet Sauvignon. And it is delicious. So highly recommend. I want Sarah to try it. Alright, so all right. So Sarah only gets two. I uh, should have done what we did with the first one. Well, we, but needed an empty glass, we did so need an empty glass. This so is this is the sh the shard, as people call it, the shard. It's okay. A, nothing fancy. Okay. Standard Chardonnay. And next is my favorite, the Yolamba E. Viagnia. That is better. It is. It's really it's good. A, I liked it a lot. Very, I'm going to say very cherry forward. Cherry forward. I know forward. I'm going to use my Hashtag wine tasting. Cherry though. forward. <laughs> I'm going to say very kind of fruity, cherry, nice, drinkable Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Yeah, I, I would agree. This is the better. Do you agree? Is the, it sour? Well, because it's got that tanginess from the fruit Okay. In there, I like it a lot. It's got I, kind of the cherries and yeah. the dried fruit kind of flavor. I so. would split a bottle with you right now. Yeah. I, I, no, I take my own bottle. I would but, skip the Chardonnay. <laughs> it was okay. Maybe just come and get a glass of this. Really good. Okay. Really and good. skip the flight. Yeah. So uh, that's really good. Skip the flight, but the shrimp is really good. Yes. I'm gonna Recommend the shrimp. And that yeah. is uh, gluten-free and dairy-free. Yes. Awesome. All right. Next booth, booth number three today. But before we get going on this, um, okay. who was the chef you were talking to at the other booth? Chef I, Scott. Chef Scott. Okay. And what were you talking about? I do have you on video, so you'll probably insert that. Yeah. So we were chatting about. So that's one of the great things is there are, in addition to people working at the booth, there's also chefs who are responsible for different zones throughout the festival. And they will often be the person that they're radioing. They will have the list of ingredients. And so he's one of those chefs. Um, Chef Brandon, who we shouted out in our video yep. last time we were at festivals. He's also great. Uh, is another chef that's here, but Chef Scott um, whipped out his phone. And yep. we looked through ingredients, All the ingredients. And we talked through a bunch of different booths. Now, one of the things that he did say to me is to remind me to let anyone know when we're at a booth that we do have an allergy or special dietary need. Even though he confirmed it with me, they will still, as a protocol, double check it by radio again with the chef. So learn something new. Yeah, and we haven't got any allergy picks this time, but we have seen uh, other friends who have gotten allergy picks throughout this year's festival. Okay. We're trying to get a sense of how many people come to the festival with special dietary needs. So okay. I would encourage you to, if gluten-free, let them know. Again, Definitely. double check and Definitely. confirm because there are sometimes options. And he said, you know, with supply chain issues, sometimes ingredients change. So it is really good to double check. Okay. Okay. Chef Scott is awesome. Chef Scott was awesome. And um, now, though, we are at, I'm looking at the sign, we are at the Swanky Saucy Swine. The SSS, <laughs> the Swankiest Saucy Swine. And is it everyone, smells. Yeah, it smells succulent. really good. I don't like that word. Succulent. succulent, like Lando Calrissian would say. Remember the oh, Puffer no. Pigs? Everyone remember Puffer Pigs? We might be Leave Puffer a comment right below here. if you remember <laughs> Puffer Pigs. Um, all right, so anyway, we are at the Swanky Saucy yeah. Swine. And, uh, and sweating. And sweating. With the rest of our alliteration so, S's. Um, we both got the same exact thing. Yeah, we got the pork wraps, and these are a barbecued pork. And again, you can, we're right behind the grill right now. You can smell it. smells super good. I do have, uh, Sarah was getting the food, but I do have footage of the uh, chef or culinary worker actually smells making it. So, good. so it's right over here. Sarah can probably insert that, or she already did. Yeah, it smells super good. I'm trying to find the actual list of. Is your fork? 
think I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna. Grab it. gonna yeah. Oh, because you. I got you. Yeah, it does have a crumb in it, so it is gluten free. We double checked it with Brandon's allergies as well. They do have nuts at this um, location. They're using peanuts with the ribs, so if you have a concern with nuts, um, use your own comfort and judgment on that. You can make this dairy free by omitting the crema, okay. but these are just like a lettuce wrap, a little pork with some corn roasted corn. And there corn. is one issue. That's what brings There is issues. corn in there. You're going to be okay. I'm actually, if Sarah tries this, I'm going to start picking my corn off, everybody. No, you might like it. You, you might like it. I, I might, but why risk it? To me, this looks great, and it's very colorful. It's extremely vibrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Super refreshing. Okay. The pork is fantastic. I love the pickled red onion. Pork looks great. It adds a bit of bite to it. The crema is nice. Actually, I think I might get it without the crema next time. I don't think you really need it. And the crema is the uh, stuff that makes it not dairy free Correct. right now. Okay. And the corn is nice. It's just very refreshing. And it, if you can't tell by my face, <laughs> it is super hot out. It is extremely hot out. Sorry, I keep looking down, everyone. That's Please, embarrassing. Can you try it? I'm gonna try it. I got most of the corn off. Pretend the you don't one. have corn in it. I'm gonna pretend, everyone. Everyone, if this is the first video you've seen of ours, I do not like corn. It's right up there with me with rice. Everyone knows I just even though he loves popcorn. What's which one? No, it's not. I'm gonna try this. Um, I know what you hear. There's still a little bit of corn in here, everyone. Gonna be okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be strong for you. I like this because. Honestly, you don't need a bun. It's a I mean, mess too, isn't it? It is kind of messy. It's very, it's delicious. It is refreshing, like Sarah said, and it's it's moist. Yeah, the pork is super flavorful. Yeah. It's super smoky. Um, it's not drying out. I like, this is yeah. great. It is falling food. apart very easily, I mean, though. It is falling to pieces, everyone. Honestly, just nice and pork it. Yeah, she's right at this point. I mean, just, but super refreshing. I love this. I think... That's the hard part with the festival when it is so hot out. You want something that's a bit cooler, or at least not so overwhelming with heat, mm -hmm. like noodles and. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. It's really refreshing. It's good. It tastes like juice or something. I can't explain it. Can I think it's because it's got. You've got the. The pickled red onion, which has like vinegar punch to it. You've got the freshness of the yeah. corn. You know, Brandon says he didn't eat corn, he ate corn. Oh, yeah. and, and the crema has some lime in it, I think. So that's got some and citrus in there, just balance of flavors. A little bit of microgreens. Okay. Minus the impossible, excuse me, minus the impossible burger, this is the best thing so far. So far. Of course, this is only the second thing. Yeah, and also this meat does have a gluten free pork rind with pimento cheese. I got that last year. We'll link to that video. Maybe I'll put some footage in here. Okay. I did not enjoy it. That is all. I remember that. Yeah. Okay. It was way too spicy and I did not enjoy it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to finish our second one each because they give you a lot here. Actually. Yeah, it's a good portion. Um, and then after that, maybe uh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. All right. See, see we're good. Everyone, we're getting a lot done actually. And we're all right up front. We haven't even gone to the back yet. And maybe we'll do that in the next video. Mm -hmm. Although I'm looking at the noodle booth. And yeah, it's yeah. Not open. Noodle booth will be open soon, right? Oh, yep, and a Disney duck is. There's here. a Disney duck after this. So we're gonna we're gonna enjoy this. Okay, so we are coming at you from Mexico with Mexico. Spaceship Earth and a monorail. Monorail, monorail. monorail. Um, I believe. Um, who wrote that episode of The Simpsons with the monorail? That was actually the. Red hair, night, nighttime host. Conan O'Brien, I think, wrote that episode. Yep. Because he was a writer on The Simpsons. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. So, anyway, so we are at the Mexico we Pavilion, uh, or booth, and Sarah, what do we got? Well, other than you sweating to death, uh, we have got two things that we split that are much gluten free. We also double checked the Brandon's allergies. I forgot to check dairy free, so I apologize on that. That's my bad. Um, but I'm thinking one of these might be an easy dairy free if it's not already full. Well, should be dairy free. This is a taco al pastor, which is pork belly on a corn tortilla, which is totally black beans, pineapple, and pickled onion. Okay. Sounds delicious. And then we also got um, a tostada de barbacoa, which is barbacoa beef, um, chipotle black beans, chipotle black beans, I cannot talk, <laughs> salsa verde, Mexico crema, queso fresco, and chives. Okay. Which, again, if I, I didn't ask, but I would guess 
probably can just omit the crema and the um, cheese, and you should be done. All right, and we, uh, Sarah, this is gonna be messy. prior to us hitting record mm -hmm. on our uh, video cassette recorder, um, no, we, uh, Sarah split them in half. I definitely split them to so cross contamination. I, uh, I don't know what I'm eating, and um, I'll let Sarah go for talk it. about it. Okay, which, which one would you? I'm gonna go with the tostada first. Okay, then I'll go with the other one first. Okay. Which so is? the tostada is beef, and it's got some avocado in it. Oh, it's warm. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's very Ooh. messy. Sorry, our okay. napkins are blowing away. Wait a minute. Is there corn in this one too? No, it's pineapple. Oh, then I'm good. Okay, sorry. So w you just had the other one I'm not having. The barbacoa. It's good. It's not it's... spicy at all. Okay. I'm so... just got a little bit of spice, but not, not any major thing to it. All right. And I'm going to try the what now? The pork belly taco. The pork belly taco. Ready for a mess, everyone? Because here it comes. A little spongy. Yeah, pork belly's not cooked well. Yeah, no. No. The flavor's good, but the pork belly is not well no. Yeah, that's... I like all the flavors. No. I love the pineapple, but I think the pork belly itself is very okay. fatty and not cooked well. The That's beef is it, yeah. really good. That was a no. It was a no. No go. I, if you trust Brandon, the answer is no on that one. Sarah, I think the answer is no for Sarah too. That's a no. Okay, so I'm about to try the other one, which is which one? Beef taco. The beef taco. Della Franco. Della Franco. Della. Gonna be a mess again. Sarah will do some fancy cut. Wait, tacos again. That is really good. It's not okay. super, it's not super spicy. It's very flavorful. I like it. I would say it's nothing fancy, but no. if you like tacos, this is a nice tostada. I liked it. All right, that was good. Oh, I recommend yeah. that for Mexico. Yes. And that, these are both gluten free. Both gluten free. I would probably not get the pork belly. I would try it maybe one more time just to see if it was an outlier because sometimes I don't have them with pork belly but it overall does. I would say I would probably skip the pork. Skip that but the uh, second one the uh which was it again we just said the beef it. Taco. Beef taco delicious yeah really good mm -hmm. not my favorite but far from a least favorite really good very solid and uh recommend. Mm -hmm. All right. Um where'd you after this? I think we're gonna go to, to Odyssey and get some cider flights and some air conditioning. Yeah. Uh, because we need some American machine, as you can tell. And I'd like an Impossible Burger one more time. Before. And I think we're going to try maybe the fry basket on the way out. There's yuca fries that are gluten for dairy free and where's, vegan. Where's that at? Did we pass it? It's Everyone, it. let's look together. Oh. That way. That way. Okay. Um, so Chef Scott did recommend the fry basket. There's oh. a lot of complexity at the fry basket, so we might just get the yuca fries tonight and come back sure. for other fries. But okay. Wow. wow, this is good. We have an excuse to come back because we're I will be back. not to go back to Spain, which has all the items that are looking for you. Oh, all of them. Yeah. Well, we're coming back next weekend then. Leave a comment. Would you like to see a part two of this video? <laughs> Spoiler alert. You're you gonna, you're gonna get a part two. But uh, help us with that algorithm. Leave a comment anyway. Um, but no, this was yeah okay. Mexico is a good booth. Not the first thing we I had. Think solid as always. Yeah, yeah Mexico is always solid. So yeah. uh, all right, we're gonna finish up here. Sarah's got a few more bites and. Uh, Head on uh, to the next, our next adventure, Odyssey. Does everyone remember 2001 Space Odyssey, 1968, possibly the best film ever made, right behind There Will Be Blood. Um, anyway, by the way, everyone, Sarah, don't cut this. We're going to cut right after this. Sarah's two favorite films oh, no. are Back to the Future and Jaws. My two favorite films are There Will Be Blood and 2001 Space Odyssey, followed very closely like Blade Runner, Alien, whatever. Metropolis 1927. Are we ready? You guys are bored. Let's go. <laughs>all just missed it. We were here at the Odyssey or possibly the night at the Roxbury because we were here in a disco. Um, we're here inside. He so was DJ. Yeah, he was actually DJing yeah. right before we started videotaping. Now it's a little chill, but it was definitely like a club <laughs> in here. Um, so we ended up getting the cider flight here at the Brewing Experience and the Odyssey. We have gotten this in previous years. This year it is a different suite of ciders which is interesting 
I feel like these are not going to be our most favorite ciders. No, I don't think so. When Sarah read the uh, what they are, I was like, eh, maybe. I was like, I don't know if these are going to be our favorite. <laughs> um, they do also have chicken wings here. Oh, two of the flavors of chicken wings, the garlic parmesan and the classic buffalo are gluten-free. I did not get them this year. I will maybe insert some footage. We got the garlic, or I got the garlic parmesan ones last year. They were just And okay. we'll link to that video. Yeah, I'll link to that yep. video. Maybe put a little bit of footage in as well. But we have three ciders. We have Blake's, which is a pretty well-known brand. Their flavors are always gluten-free. They have a strawberry lemonade one. Um, there is one from Woodchuck that's guava. Oh, oh Woodchuck's always, I like Woodchuck. Woodchuck is, yeah, guava sounds a little questionable yeah, in cider, but we'll see. And then just a honey crisp one, which I think, I bet that will be our favorite because it's just okay. a standard, so. So what are you trying first? The uh, Strawberry lemonade. And you all know I don't like sweet stuff, so this should be awesome. <laughs> Maybe she'll like this. It's like Christmas. It's always a miracle. It's not going to be my favorite. Okay. It is quite sweet. It definitely has its strawberry forward, but you can definitely kind of tell the strawberry lemonade vibe in it. It's not terrible. It's not my personal favorite, again, just because it's really sweet. Okay. This is the guava. This is the one I think is I'm going to like the least. Uh-oh. It's, um, mm -hmm. I'm too hot to actually describe <laughs> this properly. Okay. It actually doesn't taste like guava to me. It almost tastes like the, the cherry one we had last year. Again, very fruity. Okay. Very kind of more the strawberry, the cherry. So the guava's not bad. I actually think I like the guava better than the strawberry. Wow. Okay. Another sip. Sip number two. She only took one sip of the other. Yeah, I think I like that better than because it's not as sweet. The strawberry lemonade is very sweet. Okay. And then this is the classic honey crisp. I think this will just be a simple cider. Yeah, we're going to save this one for last. Last, okay. And so, really quickly again. Yeah. Best one? Best one. It goes in this order. Okay. This, this, this. So, reverse for me. But okay. I would say not my favorite cider flight. But no, we didn't think it would. Because I can't have beer, um, typically, unless it's um, beer that's made specifically gluten-free, it's hard to get a lot of the kind of flights that are here. So I like the wine flights, and I like the hard cider flights. Always double-check the ingredients, um, but Blake's and Woodchuck are gluten-free. Okay. So even with their flavors, those are good, good awesome. ones to go to. So. All right. So okay. Let's get a little tiny tips tips. Oh, and oh, the DJ's leaving. Please. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he's leaving. Uh, no more club vibes No here. more club vibes. Maybe later. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> we can make our own club. Scratch that record. All right. So I'm going to try some now, too. All right. So my turn for the cider flight. We are, of course, at the uh, Brew Wing at the Odyssey. Brew Wing, like X-Wing or Y-Wing or B-Wing. But maybe that's what the B, the B-Wing in um, Star Wars Stands for brewing. Does everyone know that? It's true. So <laughs> Star Wars lore coming Star at you. War, yeah, it actually stands for blade wing. Everyone, but still, anyway. Um, I'd be someone will leave a comment if I don't correct myself. But um, all right, so we have um, the first one. I'm going to go in the same order that Sarah did. So this is the um, strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lim. <laughs> it might be delicious. He's like no. Now Sarah did say I could get a beer, but I told her I already have a beer belly. Hashtag. Beer belly for life, doesn't matter. <laughs> Leave a comment. Do you have a beer belly? Ready? Yeah, it's whatever. It's okay. If someone handed me a bottle of it, I'd drink it, but... My, this is an honest-to-God reaction, everyone. Meh. Alright, so... The, for real, <laughs> we, I need, we need to make a meme out of that. <laughs> So this is the woodchuck, woodchuck, woodchuck guava. It's hard to read. It's dark in here. Another hard, another comma or apostrophe n o t h e r. Another. Okay. I swear we're so hot. It's like a hundred degrees right now with the humidity. <laughs> and we're uh, drinking alcohol. Yeah. So um, before I drink this, everyone, leave a comment below. I'm going to ask if whoever gets this right gets. I'll like your comment. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> A woodchuck would chuck all the wood he could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Right, ready? See, you even had that much alcohol. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, better than the first one? 
I, everyone? Everyone freeze frame, Brandon. Freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the first one, but I think Sarah said everything the best. And my reaction is, if you want a cider flight, this isn't bad so far, but it's not good. I feel like the apple seed orchard, because that's the same one as last year, that was better. Are we ready? So maybe we'll go that direction next time we're here and stop at Canada. That's, oh. That's the best one. Yeah, which one That's is That's just this? classic cider. I was going to say, it tastes like a normal. It's just classic cider. I know it's not uh, Angry Orchard, but it has an Angry Orchard taste to it. That is the um, the Bold Rock Honey Crisp part. Yeah, from uh, Nellis, Nellisford, Nellisford, Virginia. I probably said that wrong. I apologize if you're from Nellisford. Um, yeah, so um, I know my review is a little disjointed, everyone, because the first two are like, yeah, they're good. We're going to finish them. We're going to drink them. Next one's really good, but I almost wish I had three glasses of that. Yeah, I versus, agree. Yeah, so I wish I had three glasses of this the, is, the Bold Rock. This is like um, our wine flight review. Get the Cabernet Sauvignon yeah. and just get the regular cider here. And I feel because this is our first in the park video in a while, I might be going off a little too much as on the, does everyone remember? Well, I'm gonna say it one more time. Bold Rock, does everyone remember oh when it lasted two seasons on Hulu, Castle Rock? Oh, that show was if good. If you have not seen Castle Rock season one and two, you need to watch them. Phenomenal. Um, anyway, season two is better than season one, I think, actually. But um, they canceled it. No season three, everyone. But hashtag bring back uh, uh, Castle Rock. <laughs> and um, that's it. We're going to enjoy this. We're not even tipsy right now, but it's hot as heck outside. Um, it is getting dark out, as you can see. And um, we just spent some money on this, and it's only average. <laughs> Well, you have to try you these have things. You have to try. No, no, you do. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we're going to drink this, and uh, we will see where we go next year. The fry basket and home. Oh, yeah, everyone. <laughs> so you don't think we forgot. If you can hear the kid in the background. That's what they feel about the cider flight. Yeah. They don't like the cider. We don't dislike the cider flight. <laughs> they think it's that. That's the screaming of someone that just had an average cider flight. <laughs> but um, I am not going to go get another Impossible Burger. Um, I was going to, but it's it's way over there, and I'm actually getting full, and we do want to get home. But um, anyway, we'll debrief. This has gone on way too long. I'm sorry, but we're back. We're in the parks. Hashtag Brandon Bramley. Hashtag Brandon Bramley. Make it happen. Make all our hashtags happen. They never have yet. Um, anyway, we're going to enjoy this. We will see you at the, uh, the French fry, fry, fry basket. Fry basket. And uh, yeah, let's uh, enjoy this. We are inside Test Track. So. Uh, we've made a journey. Yep. We are somehow in Test Track. Actually, we, were, <laughs> we went to the Fry Basket, yep. and we ended up getting, we'll talk a little bit more about this later, but we ended up getting the Yucca Fries, which are gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. Um, we were interested in the Fry Trio, but y'all, between <laughs> talking to Chef Scott and the, the booth right now, they're a little jam. We red decided, alert. We just, red alert. <laughs> Um, whoa. Okay. We might be having guests come out. So test track was down, by the way. Yes, test track was down, and the cast member at the gift shop, we were over there outside eating. Well, we were attempting to eat by the bench, and he was like, come on in. Yep. It's cold. There's air conditioning. <laughs> and, and there is. And the, and the ride's down. So yep. we decided to come in here. Um, so next time, we're going to go back to the fry basket when we are not so hot, and it is not the end of the day, and it is not a red alert, <laughs> to see if we can find out more information about the different options for the fry basket trio. But for now. But for now, with the yucca fry. Wait, before Sarah eats a yucca fry, really quick, you know what? We'll talk about it in the debrief about what, what we thought about that cider flight at the end. We'll talk about it. Like yeah, awesome. yeah, Sarah hit the nail on the head. We'll talk more about it. It got worse <laughs> as it went on. But anyway, so what are these, Sarah? So we're having yucca fries. Okay. It's got some kind of vegan crema on it, so we're going to give it a try. Gluten free? Huh? Dairy free? No. Huh? Yep. Not okay. Bad. okay. Mm. I'll be curious to see what you think of this. Uh oh. It has a mozzarella stick vibe to it because of the seasoning like, on yeah. it. Okay. The seasoning on the outside tastes like mozzarella stick seasoning. So you might like it. I'm okay. going to say good. Okay. Not amazing. Okay. But you know what? 
something different. And I like this as a different option from regular french fries. It's not going to be probably up there it is for Brandon. Because okay. you're going to be as a potato lover. But these are yes. pretty tasty. And how many are in there? A good amount. Yeah, it looks like a pretty, a pretty good amount here. Yeah. So, I'm going to finish this. And then I'm going to have Brandon. Okay, okay, awesome. I like it. All right. All right, so um, my turn, and uh, these are these are yucca fries. Yucca? What is yucca? It's a root vegetable. Uh, like a potato, a kind of like a potato. Not just a vegetable, everyone. A root. I'm sure I'm wrong on that. It's probably like some kind of tuber. Pretty solid, okay. Yeah, the um, because they look so much like cheese sticks, mozzarella sticks. A little disappointing, but how can I be disappointed when they're not mozzarella sticks? Um. Recently Your review Rather, is complete. Micro, micro omega three override. But the spices this have kind of a mozzarella little, sticky little vibe. Yeah. Kind of like all the basil would, would, limb. Like Nothing I'd write home about. Nothing I'm gonna say there it is too. But yeah, I would get these again. Yeah, yeah. I actually like the uh, sauce. What is that sauce? Some kind of vegan crap. Yeah, really good. Um. Yeah, I recommend them. Nothing I'm going to say there it is or give a, oh my gosh, everyone, but really good. Um, Sarah's right. They're solid. They're good. I recommend them. All right, so visit one. Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2022 is done. Done. We came, we saw, we sweated a whole bunch. We sweated a lot. We're still sweating. It's not actually the heat. I don't think the humidity today is insane. Oh my god! But um, it, it, anyway, I think we did pretty good today. I hope we did for our our part one video. We made a very good effort. I think. Yeah. Really quickly, I'd like to go back to that uh, cider flight. Sarah described. We briefly brought it up inside the. Uh, test track while we're eating our fries but um right. yeah sarah after we actually started actively drinking our cider flight what did you call that first one it tasted like robitussin like cough syrup yeah i, I got goosebumps gross. it was <laughs> that first one after two more sips it was I, actually yeah. gross let me ask you this sarah was this for us at least out of all the cider just the cider bad. flights was it the worst one it was the most boogery of booger yeah. cider flights. Yeah, I, I I cannot recommend the cider flight. Can you? No, go to the apple seed orchard in the Canada Pavilion yep. and get that cider. We'll flight. be there next time, by the way. It's I did check. It's the exact same flight as last year. We both liked it. Yeah, it was it was great last year. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll get that next time. Um. Anyway, so Sarah, take us through our day, our evening. Okay. Well, I guess I will say just again a continued reminder. Use your own comfort and judgment when you are coming to the festivals. Yes, there's an increased chance of cross contamination. However, I'm going to give all of the chefs a real shout out because they are really trying this year to understand what kind of special diets guests are coming to the festival, what kind of needs there are. And uh, Chef Scott, when I was talking to him, said they are trying to make sure as much stuff is gluten free as possible and as much stuff is nut free as possible. Oh, really? So both peanut and tree nut. Okay. They're really making a conscious effort to try to make sure that they cover those as Go much Disney. as possible. Write to Disney and thank them for that. Because remember, the more you write and tell them this, the more likely they are to continue. Yes. And that's the other pro tip. Chef Scott said, make sure you tell everyone that it is an allergy or a special dietary need so that they flag it because they're trying to track it this year. So that they can get, again, get a better understanding of how many special diet guests are coming to the festival so that that can inform the different kinds of menus that they make and the ways that they handle stuff at the booth. So okay. even if you don't get an allergy pick, talk to a chef, you know, talk to the cast members, let them radio a chef, talk to a chef. Um, it's just going to make it better for us and it makes it safer for us yeah. too because they change their gloves if they know it's an allergy. Yeah. Some booths are using allergy picks. So it's just another step that we can do again to get more options, to have safer options for us here. Help us help Disney. Yeah, and when I say us, it's all of us. We can all enjoy it's it. you guys, it's us, it's everyone walking by out there that might have these uh, dietary restrictions for a wide variety of reasons. Uh, but yeah, please tell them it's an allergy or whatever it is you got going on with you. Uh, for us, it's a few different things, but um, do tell them. Um, as you guys saw, I'm sure by now Sarah's put some footage 
from a while back today when it was still light out. But um, she did talk to Chef Scott, right, for yeah. quite a while, actually. And, um, again, I was as close as I could get. I didn't want to go under the line. Um, but it looked like he was being extremely informative. And, it's, and it sounds like sounds like you were. Yeah, I feel like everyone's special diet mom right now. Make sure you tell everybody so that they can try to accommodate us so we can get more options. Hashtag everyone, Disney special diet mom. <laughs> like yeah, beer, beer, yes, absolutely. Thinkers, you know, ask questions and, you know, it's funny because even I don't intend to have long conversations with chefs when I come here. It's nice that you can, though. But somehow it ends up happening because I ask and, you know, again, be your own advocate. And the chefs here at Disney, 99.999% of the time, are awesome. Yeah. So, so that's it. shout out to all the chefs and the the entire culinary teams. All the cast members, yeah. everyone. But uh, this is food and wine, so we want to focus on the chefs and the culinary Yeah, team. I like that they're trying really hard yeah. this year. So, all right. So, really quickly. How many booths did we get to? Four or five? We went to Earth Eats, Australia, the Slinky Saucy Swine, Mexico. Odyssey, Odyssey, Odyssey count. counts, I suppose. Odyssey counts, yeah. Food, and then also the Fry Basket. Six. Yeah. And if you don't count Odyssey, five. Not too bad for a few hours. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, so hits or misses? Um, well... I would say the hit for me was the pork that we got, the little pork lettuce wraps. Very, so colorful. Delicious. So, yeah. Those were the highlight of today. I will repeat, get those again. So tasty, so really flavorful. Good. Very, super yummy. Very flavorful. That was my second favorite. It goes without saying the Impossible Burger. It, it's my favorite. It's been my favorite the last few years. As of now, it's still my favorite. But if you don't count the Impossible Burger, Sarah's right. The what was it again? The pork, uh, the pork lettuce wraps. Yeah, it looked like two little lily pads. Leave a comment below <laughs> if you remember the old Atari Twenty Six Hundred game, Frogs and Flies. It always great two player, awesome two player game. But anyway, Frogs and Flies, Atari Twenty Six Hundred. I still have it, by the way, and it works. But um, so yeah, the um, I think what the, next? The pork lettuce wraps. I'm gonna say the the, yuc the yucca fries for me were my next favorite thing because they were something different. Okay, um, they were. That was very nice. Um, and then I would say the Impossible Meatball from Earth Eats was probably my third. Least favorite? I think we know. We agree. That pork taco that, was a bugger. Can't that recommend it. Good. Your mileage may vary. If you think it looks good and you want to try it, please try it. Leave us a comment. Did you like it? Should we retry it? Yeah. I didn't like it. Not Sarah good. didn't like it. I think she liked it maybe a minuscule more than I did. But I, I Sarah told me, I think it was off camera, maybe she would try it one more time. I will not. Flavor so. was good. I would try it again, but if the pork is the same kind of style and very fatty, again, we both know pork belly is fatty. Yeah. This was like not well cooked, and not tasty. Yeah, but um, the other thing we got at the Mexico booth was pretty good though. Yeah, the barbacoa taco. Yeah. I would get that. Again. It's pretty good. I would get it again too. But my favorite Impossible Burger, followed by the uh, little lily pad things. Um, the pork. Um, I can't remember. Wraps. Oh my gosh, we're so hot. It's pork. hard to talk. Everyone, if this is the first time watching this, you're about to learn. If, you, if you've been following <laughs> us for years, I don't know how to describe food. I can't keep it in my mind for more than a few seconds. Um, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. So I call also, them little lily pads. It's very hot. Yeah, and is. also, we haven't vlogged in a while because Brandon has been sick. I have been, but we're back and we hopefully, we hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying it. But uh, I think we're about to wrap up our first trip. Uh, Video yeah. to food and wine. Yes, next time we are definitely going to hit the noodle exchange when it opens. So we're going to wait till that opens. We loved the noodle exchange last year. And then also Spain. All three dishes at Spain are gluten free. Yep. So we do want to make sure we hit that. And then we have some other places we want to hit as well. Yep. So maybe the Impossible Burger. We'll be back. Yep. And again, we I'll add in notes for different things where it was dairy free, where it was not free. Um, there were quite a few options. I think most of what we had today, except for some of the stuff in Mexico, was dairy free. Awesome. Free, which is great. Awesome. So the only other comment I have is Disney, stop it. Disney, first you did away with the stamps for these festivals. No stickers. Now you're doing away with the stickers, Rude. which Disney, I supported you. Go back and watch your <laughs> other videos. I actually supported the change from stamps to stickers. I said, this is fine. This is great. Um, and now you've taken away those, Disney. Yeah, we collect our passports. Yeah, unacceptable, Disney. Um, I, I obviously, Harmonious. obviously, all the higher ups at Disney are going to watch our video. 
Um, so when you watch this video, change back, give us our stickers back. It, it, it can't kill you that much, can it? Um, anyway, this was a great day, though, a great evening. And uh, with that, with that, we are going to watch the fireworks, <laughs> yep. sweat, and head on out. Head on out. So uh, <laughs> thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. Every one of you knows how awesome you are. You mean the world to us. Um, thank you to our subscribers. You're all just amazing, amazing people. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. It really does help the channel, helps it grow, helps the community grow. Our food allergy community, food intolerance community helps us grow. Uh, See fireworks. Fireworks. Do it. Hit the bell. Hit the fireworks. Leave us a comment. Do all that good stuff. But seriously, thank you. Uh, it's good to be back. It's good to be making videos again. We took a two-week break. Well, we didn't take a break. I was ill. But um, we're back. We're doing well. And uh, we will see you next time. Yes. And if you didn't cover something you wanted to see, leave a comment. Know, let us know. Yep. And we'll try it next time. And that's it. See you soon. Bye. Bye.